It's been about 30 years since today. I was inspired by Lord Buddha from an early age when I bought and studied many books about the life of Lord Buddha. I was inspired to meditate. When there was no atmosphere for meditations at home or when there were fights and quarrels like a family, I left home to maintain peace of mind. I walked all day looking for a suitable place to meditate. It was about 9 o'clock in the night when we reached the forest of Swembu. We found a nice big stone. We decided to sit on the same stone. I meditated. I sat in meditation. After some time of meditation, the sound of monkeys started to be heard. One after another, monkeys came and surrounded me from all sides. When I opened my eyes, a group of about 30 or 40 monkeys surrounded me and started scanning. I was scared. What to do now? How to do? It doesn't take long for the monkeys to kill me. There is no scab, no fighting. Similar things started playing in my. Of course, I played karate for two years. Two or four had the ability to fight with a monkeys. There was a group of a more than 30-40 monkeys that could not fight. I began to think that some solution would come out. Where there is a problem, there is a solution. Nothing is impossible in this world. The feeling that there is nothing impossible in this world was in my mind while thinking a solution came out. If I didn't do any harm to the monkeys, the monkeys wouldn't do me any harm. Monkeys look at me as an enemy. If I can make a monkeys my friends, I can't do them any harm. Now I begin to think about how to make friends with the enemy. The monkeys are moving more and more. The siege was completed at a distance of about 10 feet. On the one hand, mosquitoes started bite. The monkeys waved their hands to get rid of the mosquitoes. I just opened my eyes and kept looking. I was forced to sit in a very stable person. When I sit in the stable person, only then did the sound of the monkeys start to uh, disperse. I started thinking about how to make friends in such a situation. Time is running out, the monkeys continue to come. At a distance of about five feet, I was surrounded by monkeys. She is staring blankly. Sometimes it started hitting with stones. Sometimes it started hitting with weeds. I will die today. I will die. There is no way to survive. What can I do? How to do? It is surrounded on all sides. There was no crying, no laughing, no running away. Jealousy and restlessness. Begin to think, do or die. The feeling the, of whether to do it or not was worked in my mind. Even if these monkeys kill me and bite me, I will not give up my goal. This is a war, either won or lost. Why should I be afraid? Now I am determined to endure whatever the monkeys do. The monkeys are moving more and more. Now the monkeys came near me and started touching the body, touching the hands, touching the feet, throwing stones and throwing leaves. I remained absolutely calm, tolerant and stable. The monkeys' voice became louder when I touched them. One by one the monkeys moved away. Now the monkeys may feel that this is not our enemy. This is not a threat to us. This is our friends. I thought it might have happened. Without saying a word, the monkeys respected the places. Now I also started thinking that these monkeys are not an enemy. They have become my friends. Now there is no danger. Now I can do anything to get off and sit down. I giggle happily. I open my eyes, wave my hands, move my legs, got off and started walking. The monkeys sat and watched, making no sound at all. I started meditating again. That's how I made friends with the monkeys. While meditating, 
things were playing in my mind. What to do if he snakes concerts? What to do if tigers and fears come? What to do if he was come? The monkeys left me, but the question that the tiger, fear and snakes did not leave me distracted me. The first day I meditated thinking that I should live in happiness and peace, so I went in a search of a selfless. There was a poplar tree. There were two branches spread on the tree. I found a suitable seat to sit in the middle. I climbed a poplar tree and meditated looking for the suitable place. Now I am no longer afraid. There is no fear of a snakes, no fear of a tiger and bears. I began to meditate happily. It was about 12 o'clock at night and I felt asleep. A situation was created where I could fall from the tree. What to do now? I started thinking about the solution. A solution came. I have a big handkerchief. This handkerchief is tied around my neck and tied to branch. I'm thinking that I could get rid of the problem of falling from the tree. The handkerchief tied too tightly around my neck and on a branch. I began to meditate in a relaxed and a calm manner. It was about 3 o'clock at night and I felt bright light coming from all around me. My soul flew to the ground come to temple. So Lord Vishnu Narayan sang Hamans. I felt so happy, calm and cool that I couldn't describe it. This was the first day of my life. When it is the blessing about a million, my attention was open. I meditated again and I tried to go to the same place, but could not. It was about 4 o'clock in the morning from the forest. Out of a swamboo, Devtus started chanting hymns, taking the name of God and coming to Darshan. I also got up to a bad hand climbed the stairs to the temple to see the Lord. And bowed to the Lord, a force fell from the head of the status of the Buddha. I was amazed. I took the force offering in my hands and went around the temple to see God. Curiosity arose in my mind. Is it possible? While I was meditating was the sense of going to the temple seeing the serpent chanting heavens too. Vramit Kanta went to the temple to see. I am very surprised to see what I saw there as I meditated. I went to the heavens house and sang heavens. Here, Vajan Kirtan will be performed 24 hours a day. I felt happy, calm and cool in my mind. This was the first day of my meditation. God bless you. Jai Hind, Jai Nepal.